And dozens of cargo ships sit in limbo off of America's coast, and the president today taking action. News agent correspondent Nancy Liu is live at the port of Los Angeles. Nancy, a lot of those ships are there waiting, and the White House now involved. So can we maybe expect that this backlog will start to get better? Well, Nicole, despite the new federal focus, it will take some time to clear the log jam here. This backup has been building for well over a year, but ramping up to around the clock operations could help in getting more stuff off ships and onto shelves in time for the holidays. This is the first key step toward moving our entire freight, transportation, and logistical supply chain nationwide to a 24-7 system. The president unveiled his plan to untangle the supply chain mess during a virtual conference today with port officials, company executives, and labor leaders. Specifically, Walmart is committing as much as a 50% increase in the use of off-peak hours over the next several weeks. As talk of action happened today, dozens of cargo ships remained inactive offshore in Southern California. Today, nearly 60 are anchored and waiting. But under the plan, the Port of L.A. will nearly double the hours that cargo is offloaded. That will move an additional 3,500 containers overnight. The Port of Long Beach went 24-7 last month. There is also a coordinated focus beyond the ports to get more goods to consumers. Solving this issue is going to require cooperation between the private sector including rail and trucking ports and labor unions. But restrictions and logistical hurdles remain, such as the severe shortage of truck drivers and warehouse workers. More containers can't be offloaded if there's no room on the docks or at rail yards. It's still the same issues. It doesn't matter how many hours you throw at this problem. It is going to be the same song and dance, so to speak, with restrictions on empty returns and unavailability of chassis to move the containers off dock. Now, supply chain issues have been fueling inflation. The consumer price index jumped to nearly 5.5% in September. That confirms what all of you out there have been noticing. Higher prices for everything from cars to appliances to diapers due to low supply. Nicole? Yeah, Nancy, so many cargo ships there behind you. All right, thank you for showing us that.